Namaste, beautiful gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Tayen. And if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, 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 everyone. I put something up on my community board on YouTube <coughs> about what should be my next training video. We had about four people sign up for the last um, retrograde RX class and it was okay, you know, but I'm trying to get more people involved. So I did a poll and it looked like thus far um, how to become an occultist is taking the lead so far. People are wanting to get more into the occult, which I highly recommend for your, you know, evolution of your soul. So it looks like that's what I'm going to be rolling with. And so for the next week, I'm going to be coming up with a training program. It will probably be within a week because I'm I'm pretty thorough when it comes to getting things organized, okay? But um, I'll definitely let you know about it on the next videos, okay? Next couple of videos, I'll announce it and drop the link there. So those that are wanting to subscribe to the training and sign up for it, you'll have access to it. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this read. This crazy, crazy, crazy reading that Source wants me to do. And I'm going to be obedient and listen because somebody got to do it. Why not me? I haven't really thought of the title for the video yet. It'll come to me as I'm doing a read. Sometimes I get the titles before I even do the reading. So we'll go for it. We'll, we'll go for what spirit has to say and what we're mainly talking about without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this reading i call an air fire water earth spirit and ether and i also call upon the highest of the high mm, the first card already fell out which is jate vahe who will be able to give me the information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions Time and space, past, present, and future are. So it is. Ashe. My phone would ring soon as I start doing a reading with y'all. So we have the two of diamonds. I keep hearing interference. There is someone that is interfering in your relationship dynamic. Okay. I'm going to lay down three cards because I keep feeling third party energy. So let's go ahead and see what these cards are about. Okay. All right. So this card that I just pulled, which is the two of diamonds. I'm doing cartomancy, by the way, you guys. I love cartomancy. I need some light, though, because I can't see. All right. This card represents the lady whose fortune is being told and all other cards affected to a degree. In accordance to their relative proximity when a lady's fortune is being told number 19 has no significance in the layout so we don't have another number 19 anyway so whoever you are I am telling your story lady <laughs> I am telling your story there is third-party interference there is third-party interference Okay, just want you to know. So the coffin foretells acute illness or loss of property when near the person. When distant, a probability of a vertent evil. I would definitely say there's a possibility that there is some evil. There's some evil-ish going on, okay? I felt that. I told you that there was third party interference and I feel it so deep. 
it's so thick you cannot even cut it with a knife third party interference big time big time someone's trying to get in the way someone's trying to get in your way someone does not want to see you win someone wants to see you lose okay all right next we and that was the five of spades next we got the ace of clubs the roads turned to the dark clouds foretells misadventures but far from the person the evil consequences may be averted so it's away from the lady she's a person all right so whoever is attempting to throw evil your way has been overturned the evil has been overturned by the universe <clears throat> All right, so we also have the Ten of Spades. The rod near predicts family quarrels. Distant, it is pecuniary losses. So, someone is trying to take something away from you. Whatever I feel like they're trying to take away from you, it's going to be something that um, it's going to be temporary. It's not going to be permanent. Yeah, I don't feel like it's going to be a permanent situation. This person... Like, someone gave them permission. Like, this person can't do anything to you. Unless there's someone who is attached to you, gave them permission. Alright? Like, maybe someone's asking you for money and they're not using it for what they're telling you that they're using it for. This is not for all of you. This is for a small group of you, Okay? That's what the pecuniary loss means. It's a little bit temporary financial loss. Okay. Maybe you already invested money in a situation or a person and lost the money due to a third party interference. Maybe it's already happened. Remember that readings are timeless. Okay. They're fluid. It could be past, present, or future. We got lightning. That denotes a surprise. Okay, it's not going to be a good surprise because it's in the distance. It's the last card that I'm laying down right here. It's not going to be a good surprise. Man, spirit, this is not a good reading. <laughs> I mean, there, okay, let me say this as a conscious person. There is no bad reading, but this is just like either you already been through this or you're about to go through a tire moment or your person is about to go through a tire moment okay so i realized that we do have cross watchers too so please take what resonates if you're looking for something that is a little bit more specific and geared to your situation please check out my description box and as you are intuitively inclined please choose something that resonates with your soul beautiful back to the reading so we got the queen of clubs wine is a symbol of her cheerfulness so, in the end, you win. <laughs> that was a sinister laugh, wasn't it? <laughs> but in the end, you win. <laughs> if you wanted to know, okay. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> someone's trying to mess your stuff up. They are not going to win. The universe is going to step in. Let's go ahead and get some tarot. Let's see what tarot has to say. We already did the cartomancy. We already got the little, you know, lowdown. Okay, spirit gave us the lowdown. We got the lowdown of what's going down. Let's get deep into it. Oh, yeah. This is definitely worth an extended, I can tell, already. 
I don't do extendeds on all of my extendeds on all of my videos, you guys, because I don't feel like all of them need it. I feel like sometimes the reading that I do is good enough. But this one right here, baby. This one right here. Yeah, somebody is trying to blow your high. I'm just saying for those that smoke. <laughs> Anyhow, anyway. I'm channeling right now, so this can apply to many. You don't have to be a smoker. But uh, somebody is trying to interfere in your world because they have no life. Third party interference. But like I said, <clears throat> you win in the end. <clears throat> I feel that before I even lay the cards down. All right. There's been a lot of changes. There's been some upheavals in your life. Um, things that's not quite working out as planned as you planned. Some of you have been trying to make your love work with a particular person and spend third party interference. Ooh, child, shut your mouth. Karmic. How you doing? Will of Fortune. Their pers your person is connected to some type of karmic soul contract. Please take what resonates. I really feel that uh, this person is coming back around to collect on that debt. They're collecting on that debt. But since this is earth energy, I feel Taurus energy, you're going to tap into that attribute with that determination that you always have. The, the world, it represents ending a cycle, okay? There's a cycle to life. There's a cyclical nature, all right? It's a pause in life before the next big cycle beginning with a full card. It is an indicator of change. Okay? Some type of change is about to come into your life. What's the next card? We got two cards that came out. So you got the seven of pentacles. Your hard work is about to pay off. The fruits of your labor is definitely about to pay off. You've been trying to manifest something. And it came out with what? The king of pentacles? Come on. You're looking for your king to return home. On his throne. Like the king that he is. Look at him. Alright? He is so self-assured about himself. He's feeling himself. Remember the song by Beyonce? I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my feeling my feeling myself. With her and Nicki Minaj, right? So he's feeling himself, all right? He's comfortable. He's sitting on his throne. He's ruling, all right? He don't care about who thinks what. He got everything he needs in his world. He's the king of pentacles, okay? Who's trying to interrupt? We got the will. I mean, we got the world, all right? So we got the page of pentacles. This is about the young witch sending his owl out to do his dirty work. Look at that. This is the page of pentacles. So this represents the karmic. This person is up to no good. They're using their knowledge that they have to intervene or interfere with you and your love partner. Wow, look at this. So you got the Wheel of Fortune and you got the world. Oh my God, what goes around comes back around boomerang. Look at that, you got the Wheel and you got the world card. 
come on. Nothing says karmic, karmic, karmic written all over this reading more than those two cards. Then you just got it for the page of pentacles, which represents the karmic. Then you got the world right behind that, which represents what? The karmic. Hello? I really feel like for some of you, the karmic is using children as a pawn. Using children as a pawn and putting a lot of pressure on the divine masculine. Well, if you leave, you won't be able to see your children. Yes, look, divine masculine is in the nine of wands energy. I can't make this shit up, y'all. I can't make this up. Shoot, come on. So, there is a lot of pressure that is being put on divine masculine. I mean, especially when you're telling divine masculine... If you call her, I won't let you see the kids or I'll divorce you and I'll take the kids away. But whatever the case, there is some blackmailing going on. Why is she doing this? Because she feels the fresh new beginning between divine masculine and divine feminine. She feels it. This is the protagonist. Okay. The protagonist is the main star in the movie okay that's the divine femme divine femme that's you you got the star row honey this is your world the karmic is just a squirrel trying to get a nut <laughs> hello very low on the food chain when it comes to your world the karmic is feeling it the karmic is feeling the energy change the karmic is feeling Divine Masculine making change, okay? He's moving different, doing things different. She or he do not like that. Look at this. I can't lie. I cannot lie. Look at the page of swords, plotting and a plan. She got her book of divination, her book of spells right there in front of her. Trying to figure out what spell she's going to cast next. She's going, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, you are really driving this karmic back, okay? You are driving her batshit crazy because now she's trying to figure out what spell to throw next. She's been throwing spell after spell after spell. She's back in the drawing board, up in her attic. Look at this. You see her up in her attic, away from people, doing her shadow work with her devilish evil self, Okay. Trying to figure out what she's going to conjure next. Keeping it on the low. Let, not letting nobody know what she's up to. Okay. Divine Masculine, here you are. Needing to make the decision. But the decision is a very weighty one indeed. Some of you Divine Masculine are going to have to leave your children behind. And that's causing a problem. Here's some scenarios. You got Divine Masculine who loves his kids. And his kids are a part of the package deal. He wants to bring the kids with him, but the karmic is not going for that because she knows that if he leaves, he's going to go to Divine Femme. So she's going to make it hard. So that's not going to happen. So she's using these children as a pawn. Then you got some of these divine masculines that are connected to divine feminines who only want the divine masculine and not the children. The children are part of the package deal, period. Never, ever, ever, whether you're a divine masculine or divine feminine, compromise or use children as sacrificial lambs because that's what happens to a generation. A generation of children become broken adults. Because adults do not know how to handle their emotions and situations properly. The kids did nothing. The kids are innocent. They should not have to suffer. They should not be used as pawns. I'm seeing some karmics turning the kids against the divine masculine. That's bullshit. Leave the kids out of it. And if you're including them, include them in a loving embrace. Include them with unconditional love and tolerance. Divine Feminines, if you really love Divine Masculine, accept his children as part of the package deal. 
I have no counsel for the karmics because we all know they're going to do what they want to do anyway. <laughs> but kids should not have to be pawns. Kids should not have to be used in order to gain for personal gain. You got the nine of cups. No, the knight of cups. All right, again, karmic energy. It's not about you and only you, but it's about we, plural. And with the Knight of Cups, this is about a person who is a lover. But, um, they use their love in order to use it for manipulation to get what they want this is the karmic there is no true love there between her and divine masculine and even if it is she knows that that's not where divine masculine heart is so there's a lot of manipulation there's a lot of people you know faking the funk all right there's a lot of deception but with the knight of cups being here divine masculines you're being asked to follow your heart follow your heart on this one divine masculine follow your heart it'll never lead you wrong you know the right thing to do this is you divine masculine you're in pain you're at the end of your ropes in the Ten of Swords. Okay. Talk about being stabbed in the back. This has really, truly been a humdinger for you. You've really been stabbed in the back. Let's get one more card and we'll go ahead and go to the other side with the rest of this reading. Spirit, what is the outcome of all of this? Okay, so the Six of Pentacles is about... Coming back together, reciprocal um, gaining, um, reciprocity, even exchange, even give and take, right? Being aligned, being in alignment. Six means peace, love, harmony, joy, right? It also represents someone from your past, all right? So... I really feel like the karmic is at her threshold, knowing that divine masculine and divine feminine are working on coming back together. She can feel it energetically or he can feel it energetically, divine masculine or divine feminine pulling away. And so they're not liking it. They're using magic. <clears throat> they're using kids. They're using everything they can. They're pulling out all stops. So my recommendation is to continue to follow your heart. Make sure that whatever you do, especially involving kids, this is a serious channel in here, that you do right by the kids and you include them a part of your plan. Because sometimes, no, all the time, I was corrected by source. The kids, nine times out of ten, get left out. We don't take that into consideration until time passes. And then we wonder why we're being delayed. We're being delayed because everything has to happen in divine order. And no children should be thrown on a chopping block or used as sacrificial lambs or pawns in order to gain what you need from this situation. Divine feminines that are strong and that are centered will accept divine masculine and love divine masculine extension which is his children are his child depending on who i'm channeling for because i understand that there are divine masculines that only have one child by someone and not a slew of children and then there are some that have children by their karmics but please take what resonates for you but be the better person okay somebody has to do it someone has to take it to the chin for the children Someone has to think about the children. And if you're with a divine masculine who's not thinking about his children, what more can he think about you if he's not thinking about his own child or children? 
okay? Why would you even want to be a part of someone's life who's not even including their children a part of their life? And vice versa, divine masculines. Why would you want to be with a divine feminine who's not accepting your children? Your children are you. They have your blood running through their veins. All right, you guys, I've said enough. Let's go ahead and go on the other side and let's see how everything ends. All right, and what the outcome is going to be. For $11.11, .11, I'll be more than happy to join you there. And for those of you that have concluded with this reading and you're satisfied with what you have, thank you so much for being with us. And do not forget to hit like, share, and the subscribe button. Make sure you click all so you can get all of my videos. Thank you so much. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave a love donation if you feel inclined to, or you can purchase a gift from my wish list on Amazon, and it will appear on the channel. And I wrap you on my love, and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.